Hello, Keith here with Math, Fun, and Games. Today we're playing MBT by GMT Games. We are doing Scenario 3 with all basic, advanced, and applicable optional rules in play. We are on Part 3 of Turn 5. We're in the fire phase. Uh, before, I made a mistake when I was re recording. So I'm just going to replay it with the log and explain what's going on. All right. Oh. Let's go forward. All righty. Let's see. Let me get the messages rolling. Rolling, rolling. There we are. Continue turn five. We're ready to go. Ready to rock and roll. Ready to do this. Ready to parquet like it's 19. 99 all righty okay uh pa 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 all right let's go forward initiative nato 29 becomes 49 soviets win a7 is greater than 49 soviets win and they will have direct fire move forward move forward all right, so that's the shot I'm looking at right here. It's going to be a songster against the front of a Bradley. Different aspects. Fifth range of 15. That should be range of 14 because we crossed the board boundary. So that uh, it's going to be a T80 BV model. And it's going to be firing a songster anti-tank guide missile that's going to be at point blank range and the cover modifier is going to be minus three i think i might have gotten that wrong let's see now soviets 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 t80 bv uh, yeah i did get that wrong that should be short range point blank range should be greater than 40. okay let's see if i caught that i might not have no might not make a difference I need a 63 front target facing, so that's going to be a hit. Yeah, so I don't think it would have made a difference. Short range. Let's take a look and find out. So I did it as point blank, so it needed a 63, but actually it needed a 49 or less. And the hit was a 37, so it wouldn't have made a difference. So that means it has to be pretty far away to be a point blank shot. All right, all righty, and I don't want to go backwards, so I want to go forward. There you go. There's no penetration modifier because it's chemical explosive. Location damage roll, 56. The location's 5. The damage is 6. I looked up on the table. It was a hull front hit. Mm -hmm. No stuff going on the board. I'll front hit. So it's right there. It's right here. I'm just mucking around. I actually made a mistake because, well, the hit was a the hit was halt was a was a brew up, but there's an error in my modifications to the module. So and there you go. I put the brew up. And then I put the that's where it was. There we go. I clean things up. New initiative 17 and 26. NATO wins because of the plus 20 veteran unit modifier. That's going to be the shot it takes. It's actually going to be two of those. Put this down a bit. Right. See, two of those shots. One of those vehicles has a damaged turret. So two two shots. Those are. Um, Abrams, they're going to be armor piercing APF SDS short range, and one of those sh shots is going to be from a vehicle suffering turret damage. I'm going to do the turret damage vehicle first. So it's short range, a veteran unit firing at short range will get plus one roll modifier. Laser sight will give it a plus two row shift, and because it's turret damage, it's going to be a minus three row shift for a net of no row shift. 
So I need a 70. It's going to be against the front target facing, and I don't need an ammo availability roll because that's the natural ammo for the Abrams. And that's a hit. We've got to do a penetration modifier because it's kinetic energy in the round. Base armor is 96. 96 is base penetration. So I made a mistake. It's 96 is base penetration. I roll a 27. A 2 comes up, is turns into a minus 8 modifier on the penetration modifier chart. A 7 becomes plus 3. So the modifier is minus 5 and the penetration is 91. Location damage roll. I roll a 1 for location. That's going to be a hull front. No, it's a turret front and a six for damage. Now, because of the one, if you roll a one and you're you're on an elevation, it'll be a falling shot, which means it could be a deck hit, which is very advantageous because there's very little armor up there, but it's a front turret hit. So front armor for that's 95. Now, if I have any penetration modifiers, my initial base penetration was 96, but because it was... I get bad rolls on the penetration modifier. The shot did I, I did not penetrate. Now I'm going to fire the vehicle that does not have the damage turret. Short range laser sight plus two veteran unit firing at short range plus one. Sets a row shift to plus three. Ninety one to hit that hits. Base penetration is ninety six. Now we check for penetration modifier. We roll a 68. That's very good. The net penetration is 101. Now we do a location damage roll. The location will be 6. The damage is 10. So looking, looking up a 6 on the front aspect of the location chart, that's a front armor hit. The front armor there is 85. So that shot hits and causes that vehicle to brew up. Now I'm just placing the, placing the counters where they belong here. Okay, so now I have Overwatch. There's a, there are two vehicles over there that can do Overwatch fire. So they're going to fire back with the Songsters anti-tank guy missiles. One shot for each vehicle. No, they're not going to use the Songsters. They're going to use the armor-piercing APF SDS ammo which is basically like a very high-tech dart the reason i'm doing that is because the songster it'd be at short range for the songster and the american tanks the abrams tanks have reactive armor very special armor which makes chemical arm chemical explosive Fire, very ineffective. All right. And after all, less than nine in order to have it, but probably will have it. Okay. So the first tank has ammo availability. Well, this is ammo availability ability roll. It has it. Now, if I didn't have the ammo available, there would have been a minus three roll penalty on the two hit. So it's going to be short range. It's firing from a hex where a tank just exploded and this brew up smoke. And the American unit, no, actually, see, I made a mistake. The American units are not in light cover. All right, they're in buildings. All right, that was a mistake. That is a brick building. That is medium cover, so it's actually, should have been minus three instead. Okay, let's go forward. 49 or less to hit. That's actually should be pushed up two rows. No, I mean down two rows, so you're going to have short range, minus three, and then you're going to go down two more rows, one, two. It should be 35 or less to hit. First shot, 88. That's an obvious miss. Second tank fires. I notice I didn't do ammo availability. I should have did a 10 D10 ammo availability roll. 46. That's a hit. That should have actually been a miss on my vehicle. I think the shot bounces off and doesn't penetrate anyways. But that shot should have been because I had that vehicle 
within a brick building. That gives the coverage of a brick building, which is medium cover. And it also gives hull down. It gives actually gives hull down to, to hull hits. So well, let's see if I what happened. Penetration modifier. Base penetration is 97. Adjusted penetration is 89. Hull front hit. Okay, so it bounced off harmlessly anyways. Since that was a hull hit, in that vehicle, if you're in a building, you're automatically hull down. That shot wouldn't have even it would have hit the building and just bounced. Okay. The only the only thing about you I like about using uh anti-tank guide missiles is that, is that if you miss, you can start fire, which is cool. Weird sense. Okay, so that's where we were. That's where I stopped. So we're gonna continue now. All right, start a new log file. We're gonna call it part three B. And we're gonna go on because we're only at 10 minutes on this. All right, so we're gonna start off with initiative, uh, initiative roll. Initiative rolls. NATO, 80, 84. NATO wins because of the veteran unit modifier. And so we have NATO fires. Does NATO have any fire? I don't believe they do. NATO has no more fires left. Fires, oops. So Soviet. I think the Soviet has one fire left. It'll be that it'll be that unit right there. Okay. And let's see who it's firing at. I to go against this Brad right at Bradley, and I think I can. Let's see if I can take that out. See, so you can tell. Well, it could be just the way the boards are, the boards align, you see that? The problem is, it's right along the hex spine. There's a shift because of the board, I think. Because where the two boards connect, I think it shifts the line of sight. Right, see that? It's perfect, except so. That's going to be range 14. And it's going to hit right on the boundary between the front and the front side. So it goes in favor of the defender for the front side. So let's write that down. Okay. So it's going to be, do I want the Songster or the APF? See, I'm going to do the Songster, which is the anti-tank ion missiles. because Bradleys don't have reactive armor. So, Songster, ATGM, you got short range, it goes through, grew up smoke. So it's minus two roll modifier. Uh, the cover is medium cover in woods. Minus three. And if it hits the hull, it's hull down. And target is hull down, so hull hits. And yay there. All right. So here we go. We get five. Short range, minus five. It needs 35 to hit. That's a tough shot. So two hit. So this is highly unlikely that this is going to have any damage because even if I hit I can't hit the hole at this so let's roll it oh it hits all right so it actually got it hits let's look at that 
Okay, now we have to do a location damage roll. Because it's CE ammo. Oops. Okay, we don't, because it's CE ammo, we don't do the penetration. Okay, so it's interesting. It's 10 and 3. So the location is trap. That's 10 is, I haven't had a track in a while actually. So that's actually a track hit. All right, 10. So that's treated as a miss. Hit vehicle is all down. Shot missed. I believe that is the last fire for this turn. I will remove that fire marker. Is there another vehicle there? Okay, so that's it for the fire phase. Let's do this. What is the current does that have? I think that is, I'm pretty sure that has a move command. Let's go there and find out. Oops. Yeah, that does have a move command. All right, so let's uh, see where we are next. Go to chart B and we'll go to the sequence of play. Now we go to the movement phase. We go to move phase now. And then we have no close combat. No close assault or hand to hand. Oops. And so it's the what do they call it? What do they call it? Oops, let's see now. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, uh movement and overrun combat stuff. Okay, NATO one. Initiative phase. Soviets. All right, Soviet move. We don't have a lot. You know, this unit. Then they have this unit. That unit didn't do anything. And then they have this unit. They don't have much. Those right there are the biggest though. Okay. So let's do this. All right, so I'm gonna move this right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I wanna sweep. I wanna sweep that hill. So I'm going to stop right there. Make a new counter. That KO is right there. I was right. I'm pretty sure it was right there. Yeah. All right. I'm not sure they spotted. That's close range. That's a recon unit. So now, interesting, this unit's an Overwatch. And this unit does have a light anti tank, an LAW. Range of two Overwatch shot, so unit is in range of X one K three, one K three W fire. Over fire. Oh. All right, so we'll go to the that unit, the Americans. Oh, leg units. 
LAW, uh, okay, so it's going to be medium range, penetration 61, but it does have a height advantage, so medium range, yep. penetration 61, firing from above, moving target modifier. Is minus two. What else? Uh, target modifier. It's not on any cover. That's. Let's give a concealment, but not cover. At that grain. What else? Uh, Overwatch fire. Minus two. I believe that is it. So what we have will be a two hit of medium range minus four. Thirty to hit. Less than or equal to thirty. Let's roll the dice. 